is your native language German? No, no, no. no. My okay. native language is Portuguese. Portuguese. Okay. Portuguese. Yeah, okay. I was born in Rio, and I've lived there almost my whole life. And since 2004, yeah, I've been living here in Germany, in Berlin. Okay, so how long did it take you to learn German before you're like comfortable living there? <laughs> it's like my whole life. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I came uh, to Germany, my first time here was 2002. And I couldn't speak any German. Okay. Um, so I just communicated in English. It was not easy at that time, I have to say, especially because, I don't know, but it was my impression. Uh, here in Berlin, you know, it was a divided city and we had some differences depending on the part of the city uh, mm -hmm. uh, where you were. <laughs> And I had some difficulties. So some people, they just looked at me and they could barely say hello and maybe just indicate with the hands uh, what I wanted or pointing something. So it was a little bit difficult. I really noticed a big, big change. 2006, um, in the occasion of the World Cup here in Germany, and it was wow so then suddenly i think mm, yeah more and more people they they speak english what is mm, also not good if you're trying to learn german because yeah. if they speak good english and you're trying to speak german they switch to english right. so you don't have the chance to practice your german that's the problem yeah so my first time here was in english then I came back to Brazil. I was here just as a tourist. Then I came back to Brazil and I started taking some private lessons. But, you know, I had to work. I didn't have that much time. So I tried to invest, let's say, two or three hours per week uh, to learn German. And I think it's not a lot at all. <laughs> German is not a very easy language, especially at the beginning. Um, if we compare German and English, for example, English is not my, my mother language, it's not my native language, I learned English, and if I compare both languages, I think when you learn English, maybe after your fifth class, let's say that, you can say something, maybe you can communicate a little bit, I think it's almost impossible in German. You know, German, uh, I don't know how much German you know, but German, uh, we have three different genders. Feminine, masculine, and neutral. And, for, and we have plural as well. It's not a gender, but it, it has a special declination for that. Mm -hmm. So now if we multiply for four, because we have nominative, accusative, genitive, and dative, it means you have 16 different possibilities. Hello? <laughs> it's really difficult. Something very, I'm, I'm not going to say stupid, but it's very, very easy, especially if you think about those typical 70s, not, not 70s, but 60s uh, methods, translation method, the books on the table, the famous sentence. <laughs> huh? This is, this is a challenge in German, but not in English. Well, at least this is this is my impression. This is what I felt when I started learning German. But on the other hand, I think after you reach, let's say, an intermediate level, then German is it gets easier because you don't have more surprises. <laughs> if if you really want speak good German. Of course, I think you have to improve always, even in your na native language, you have to improve. Um, I, I don't like um, this thing with native speaker that many people think they are like saints, they don't make mistakes. Of course, we do mistakes. Uh, so we have to improve 
uh, our language, even our native language, foreign languages, of course. I think we have to be in contact and improving every day. But again, this comparison, English and German. So if I take a look at German, if you reach this intermediate level, okay, then it, it goes really easy afterwards. But with English, I think it's a little bit the other way around. So it's very easy at the beginning. Uh, it's, it has a very simple structure. If I compare not German, my native language, Portuguese, it's very easy, very simple. But if you really want to speak or to write very good academic English, then it's really difficult, I think. Interesting. I think it's the other way around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is my impression. And, and, and then sometimes uh, we see people uh, that say, okay, I can speak really good English and uh, write very good English. But they have difficulties to understand some kinds of texts. So this everyday English, okay, that's okay. But if you compare, uh, if, if, if we think about this more academic English, then I think it's more difficult. If after intermediate level, there are some subtleties and some details and some surprises that you don't have at the beginning. <coughs> maybe maybe right. it's just a comparison. Um, German, um, English and Portuguese. So I'm talking based on these three languages. But that's, that's what I think. So German, uh, I suppose... Um, we have to study a lot at the beginning, so it demands a lot of time and a lot of patience. It's not easy at the beginning, not at all. <laughs>